An eraser might not be the perfect antidote. I might have forgot that fabric is not only absorbent, but takes time to dry. <laughs> Hi, my name is Radhi Rahman. I'm an illustrator from New York City, and today I will be painting on these pair of overalls. I'm an artist. I've been creating art basically my entire life, but I've been running my own business doing it for the last three or four years. The medium that I normally work with is acrylic paint. From time to time, I will use ink, maybe some pens. I'm kind of a portrait artist. Most recently, I have been drawing a lot of my inspiration from the skateboarding community here in LA. I mainly work in a digital format. However, for instances like these where paint is involved, acrylic and gouache is my best friend. My illustrations are influenced by my experience as someone who is a first-generation Bengali-American woman of color. I would describe my work as embracing femininity, culture, fun and playful colors, and things I enjoy like plants and cats. I'd say my main medium is watercolor. I do what I like to call space babes. They're body and sex positive portraits. And I do them in these really fantastical color schemes because I find it lends kind of like a blank canvas so that anyone can kind of superimpose themselves into them. I don't think I've ever customized any of my belongings before. This is gonna be a very significant first for me. The thing I am the most nervous for in this process is that it's a very big, full body, white garment. This is about as much white as I wear. My home, very colorful. Me, all black, maybe a little redder oxblood. I think the most challenging aspect for this project is working with the structure of these overalls since there's a front and a back. Worst case scenario, I accidentally smudge the paint or make the wrong mark. Best case scenario, I'm able to clean it up before the paint dries. Contouring is kind of a phobia in a way for me. And when you're working with fabric, ink kind of like melts out. When BuzzFeed reached out to me, I was very excited to work on this project. I was able to ask for a pair of overalls in my size that were secondhand. So not only are these getting a makeover, but they're getting a second chance at being well-loved. I have a serious thing about the amount of clothing we waste um, in the world. It's terrible for our environment. It's terrible production-wise. So if I'm going to make something or customize something, I want it to be something I'm going to get a lot aware of or that someone in my life can. So let's open these overalls and see if they work for us. I love them. I mean, this is a great white. It's very much akin to canvas that I would paint on. God, that's so much white. Oh, it's just a big expanse of white fabric. <laughs> One of my concerns is kind of the ridging. I'm very bad with fabric ter terminology. The only thing I'm nervous about is I'm very short in the torso. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna have to shorten the straps even beyond what they're able to adjust, but that's an easy fix. So I think we can handle it. Just to get an idea of the vision brewing in my mind, I have sketched out some designs on my iPad. I'm planning on grabbing graphic elements from my illustrations as the blueprint for the overalls. And I definitely want to do something Keith Haring inspired. This is sort of the idea I have in my head so far. Something that's been very impactful to me. I'm actually Ugandan and coming here has been quite a challenge, but I have found a great family through skateboarding. And one thing that I definitely want to keep in line with my previous artwork, with kind of like the art aesthetic that I have, is that I want to feature members of the skateboarding community in LA. And not just anyone, but like the people that I skate with and with whom I've built a family. So I bought a wine colored fabric dye. So I'm going to dip dye them so they're still technically white overalls. They won't be all wine colored. So I think I'm going to make a stamp or a couple different stamps and do an alternating fabric paint all over print with them. And maybe also paint them. Okay, I think it's time to get started on these. I uh, just want to see if I like the proportions of everything, the size of the heads, uh, the negative space between the heads. I actually really love this already, so I think I'm actually gonna go with the floating heads concept. The only challenge that's gonna come with that though is talking to people and convincing them to allow me to draw their face and representing a healthy amount of the people that I skate with. The next challenge 
that I have to overcome is getting in a little bit of practice with fabric, fabric paint, and fabric friendly markers. So what I have before me is a pair of white pants that I'm going to use as a test to see what the outcome's gonna be if I put these pants in the washer and dryer. I'm gonna use the paint to my heart's content. I painted out some color schemes that I think I actually wanna settle for. And I'm not too mad about the representation, although the maroon is really murky. Another thing I noticed about fabric paint is it dries so fast, so I wasn't even to, able to get like all of the paint out in time to paint the square because it had dried so fast. I might not use as much fabric paint with a brush just because it might fail me as it did there. Since I'm working with a limited color palette, I think the smartest method is to actually mix the color in batches and that way it'll be consistent throughout the entire project. I'll be using a combination of acrylic paints with this medium that will protect the artwork from being washed off afterwards. I'm also attempting to draw out the bigger shapes on sheets of paper and then cutting them out so I can save myself time from drawing directly on these and constantly sketching and erasing. I think I have successfully sketched out and traced the larger areas right here. This is what the back is looking like. I think the smartest method is to actually paint one color at a time. Before I continue, I completely forgot I should probably put a piece of cardboard or extra paper between the legs so the paint doesn't bleed through to the other side or cause the fabric to stick together. I'm gonna start by dyeing my overalls. I'm just using my mop bucket and some gloves. Got my dye, of course. Please be careful that you don't splash your feet. Maybe wear shoes. I have a supervisor, huh? Next, we need about a tablespoon of dish soap. I could measure, but I'm not gonna. And then about a cup of salt. Our potion a good mix. Uh, keeping in mind, if you're using anything porous, like this guy, will no longer be food safe. All right, I saw this on the internet, so it must be true. I'm going to use a piece of paper towel to test the color of my dye. It's not red enough for me, so we're adding the whole dang bottle. So I've got my overalls here and I have already soaked them in water and gotten them nice and wet and wrung them out the best I could. So let's start dipping them. I want an ombre. Yeah, we're getting kind of like a medium tone here and then some darker down here. I'm gonna keep dipping it so we don't get a harsh line. All right, so I want the very bottom to be the darkest. I'm gonna leave it this way for a little while, coming and stirring it and agitating it fairly often. I'm really liking it so far, so let's give it a little time and come check back in. All right, so I hand washed the test pants and we'll check back when it's really bone dry and, and see how we've done with the ink. And this is what it's gonna look like after the fact. I'm not mad at the contours. Seems pretty decent to me. Only thing, yeah, is the fabric paint is not looking the way I, I would have hoped it would look and maybe that's just my technique being a novice to this. So right now I'm about to take the overalls and I'm gonna just sketch out some pencil sketches. Unfortunately, some people will have to be in unpreferable regions, but hey, we're all in this together. The quote that comes to mind when I'm working on these is that art is long and time is short. I'm kind of having a battle between adding a lot of detail versus kind of rushing through it. And I know the moment I rush through it, like it's like just baking a cake incorrectly. Like the whole thing is just gonna collapse. And I'm also realizing that it's really hard for me to focus because this is a monster of a task. Focus is a luxury that you buy with the gold of discipline. I wish I had that focus. I wish I had that discipline, but let's work on that. I am nearing the end of the sketching portion and I'm about to complete the last and 57th portrait. I'm really excited to just like get this pen down and then the rest should kind of be a breeze. I'm gonna leave this part bare because I think I want to have just a symmetrical feature here. 
So I have begun the lining out of these pencil sketches with a green marker. So we've only just begun. Only about 50 more faces to go. I'm running out of daylight, which I was afraid would happen, but I will probably touch up some spots on the pink where the paint is sparse. I will take this to my desk and work in sections under my desk lamp. I might have forgot that fabric is not only absorbent, but takes time to dry. So I think I'm going to pull out my hair dryer and run that over some parts so we can speed up the process. Here is my current situation. I have the rest of this long boy to go, some of the stars on the back, this checkered pocket right here, the rest of these little sprinkles along this belt, and these straps. So I washed the overalls and let them completely dry. And they, they're pink. They're definitely pink, which is not a color I was expecting them to turn out based on my dye color. The gradient turned out really beautiful, but they're pink which is not very me of a color. So I took a couple days of a break to just kind of noodle it around and decide what I wanted to do. I figured I would embrace the pink. We're just gonna go full like pastel goth. So I made a couple cute little designs and let's make them into stamps and hope this turns out kind of cute. completely done one side of the overalls. I think they look way cooler. I'm way more okay with the pink now that they are covered in black fabric paint. So I'm going to put my head down, throw on a TV show, and see how much of this I can get done since it's already 10.30 at night. Something I've noticed is that drawing noses on fabric is an absolute nightmare for me. I usually like to use shading to determine where a nose is. It's just really hard to show that depth with this one, so I'm trying not to ruin people's faces. Another thing that I want to remind myself, that I try to remind myself, is just to keep having fun, like have fun with it. I'll be done really soon, and then I'll move on to adding and introducing the other colors. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on laying down a flat color of a marigold yellow. Paint the front pouch front pocket and the back pockets. painting on these overalls last night. I've also put on these earrings. These are actually sculpted by me and they were a Valentine themed limited drop for my shop in February. As you can see, I've matched my makeup with the color palette of the overalls. I'm also wearing this lilac lettuce trim top. I definitely think these overalls reflect my interests and how I speak visually. This makes me so happy just to look at and the fact that these are mine and I can just wear them whenever I want. It feels really great to customize or revamp clothes and give them a second chance. Here's the full look. Basically went like pastel goth vibes. Blue eyebrows to match the hair, some pink to match the overalls, and a black lip for good measure. I added some of the pins that I design and make, some chunky earrings, stripy black top, topped it all off with my combat boots. I think in the end I'm super happy with how they came out, despite the fact that I was rather upset that they turned out pink. All right, here is the finished look. Got on white sneakers, tie-dye blue socks by my friend Precious. Have these African print earrings. I just love to like always put a dash of 
African print on. It's a nod to 90s hip hop and this is kind of what I wanted was a very subtle print like look with the portraits, but I am super, super pleased with the outcome. And I'm happy that I completed it. <laughs> and would I do this again? If I had like the right materials for painting on fabric, I would love to try like an actual painting. It's making me so happy. The whole process has made me so happy. It's taught me a lot about myself. It's taught me a lot about my friends and like how beautiful they are. I love that I'm able to mend my style across different mediums and even on fabric while maintaining the fun shapes and lines. I'm really happy with the process. I've been customizing my own clothes for forever. So it's definitely something I'm gonna continue to do. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Try it at least once if you're an artist. Try customizing some cloth.